So welcome to Cancer Conversation. And this is going to be a groundbreaking, um, you know, exposition of something that no one has ever, ever heard of. And one of my staff uh, who was working with Theo, who is the director of two integrative clinics in London, and said, oh, you've got to meet Dr. Keneally. And fortunately, Theo and I met some time ago, and he introduced me to Raven, who is in charge of science and development at Swiss Pharmacan in London, or in England, rather. Anyway, um, I am going to show you something you've never, ever seen before. It's revolutionary in the delivery of nutraceuticals. And I always tell people, it's not what we take, it's all about what we absorb. So I'm gonna introduce you to Theo first, and then uh, Theo will introduce Raven and how this all came about and how we're not only in, in Europe, but in the United States bringing a breakthrough technology. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Keneally, absolute pleasure. Um, we met, uh, it was 18 months ago already. Um, and funny enough, you know, we presented to you the technologies, the stabilized mycelated technology that we're bringing today on today's show. Um, also, it was an absolute pleasure with being introduced to Raven. You know, my family establishment are in charge of many wellness technologies in and around the UK and Europe, especially. So a friend of Raven said, look, you know, you've got the best supplements in the world. You need to meet these guys. You know, they're, they're very true enthusiasts in the wellness business and just go down and meet them. So Raven come down to our HQ. You know, we presented to him our, our water machine and then he presented to us his supplements, you know, and it was, yeah, as you said, truly groundbreaking because we hadn't seen anything like this, you know, and where Raven was coming at with the science, especially, it, it made total sense. And that's what was incredible. So, yeah, that was 2020, you know, almost five years ago. And we've used these products in set protocols. We put them on the market for a lot of our sales distributors, as well as selling them online as well. Um, and we're also, we're getting some phenomenal results using set protocols. And um, I won't talk too much about the science behind it. I'll let Raven do that. So Raven, um, if you'd like to take over and explain the groundbreaking science behind these technologies. Hey Theo and uh, Dr. Kanini, thank you uh, both for bringing me onto this call. Um, I, I guess if I get a, a little potted history for myself, which why I have a great interest in Dr. Cornelius Clinic and what we're doing, um, I've been involved in the health industry for over 40 years. Um, whilst in the UK here, I established two, uh, no, 17 cancer treatment centres, so two doctors, four nurses, 16 other staff in each of those clinics. And um, we were focused on helping people to deal with the issue of cancer um, and the reason we got involved in that really was because my colleague and I, um, both of our parents died at the same time with cancer. And we, we realized that, you know, that the health service um, that was available perhaps wasn't giving what could be offered. So we, we did a lot of studying. We toured around the world. We found different systems of protocols towards dealing with it. But in all of that, um, one of the things that has always been a sort of little mantra to me has always been that. Uh, you know, the best doctors in the world um, already exist within your body. And if you give your body the best tools it can have in order uh, to heal itself, it can do it itself in its entirety. Um, so I've always been focused on five key issues, which is food, air, water, exercise and mental attitude, i.e. what's going through your mind. What's, what, all of those things have a, a combining effect on our physiology. But food being a big issue is that without getting into it, you know, we already know that the food we're eating globally is nutritionally deficient. And our body fights like crazy to be able to get the nutrients out of the food that we're eating that are pretty non-existent in the first place. And so all disease we know is, you know, is multifactorial. It's caused by many things happening at and around the same time. But food, of course, plays a very significant part in that. And so, you know, the onset of the nutraceutical supplement industry 35, 40 years ago uh, came about and really took off with people understanding the need to supplement their diets and give themselves what they needed. 
And over these years, I've watched the whole thing evolve and grow. But the thing that has always concerned me, and Dr. C has said it already, you know, is that it's not what you put in your mouth. It's what your body is able to actually absorb. And understanding that our physical body is made up of mostly water and that most of the nutrients that we get in our diet and in supplementation are lipid-based, i.e. oil-based, our ability to absorb them is very, very poor. So with that in mind, um, a very close colleague of mine um, who's a research biochemist uh, invited me over to Switzerland um, to get involved in what he'd been working on for over 30 years, which is to mimic what the human body does because the human body has a system to be able to get nutrients from the food that you eat and to be uh, to absorb it. And that system is known as the my cell system. Your body produces my cells itself. But the ability to produce them is very limited. And as we try and produce them in our physical bodies, it takes huge amounts of energy to be able to do that. The older we get, the less ability we have to produce my cells in the human system. Now, what are my cells? Well, my cells are structures. into the stomach to, to encapsulate uh, the nutrients from the food that we're eating and drag it back into the bloodstream and your body gets it in that way. But as I said, the amount you're getting is very little. Now, that when this is coupled with the fact that we're getting, so we don't produce enough micelles, we, we, the food we're eating doesn't have significant nutrients in it. And we're unable to get those nutrients into the bloodstream as we're getting older because we just can't produce enough of it. So as far as we're concerned is how can we then help the body to, to absorb nutrients in a better way? And my colleague Daniel's study was in the ability to create micelle structures outside the human system, but to mimic what the human body does. And after 30 years of trying to do that, he managed to create a stable micelle, but using pure plant material. Now, that itself is quite unique to be able to produce a micelle structure mimicking exactly the same structure that the human body does or produces um, to be able to. Uh, but the problem with it all is stability. Now, when we talk about micelles, uh, they, they've been known about in science for many, many years. You know, most doctors have heard about micelles in the body. And, of course, they're used in all sorts of different uh, fields but the problem with my cells is creating stability and the way that they've been created as stable structures in the past is using synthetic materials and that in itself bothered me because i don't want to be introducing more synthetic to the human body so when daniel showed me what he'd achieved with the ability to create these structures using pure plant materials outside the human body thereby mimicking what the human body does it became hugely exciting because we are then able to use these myocell structures. And, and the way they work is quite simple. Um, uh, essentially speaking, they, they are made up of structures like thin tails. On one end of the tail is hydrophilic and the other uh, is hydrophobic. I, one end of the structure attaches to water quite happily. The other end attaches to oil quite happily. And, and that makes something really quite unique. Essentially speaking, when we are able to take these micelle structures, we can then encapsulate active ingredients directly into these structures so that the body can absorb them easily in the way that... So we're doing what the body does, but outside the human body, essentially speaking. And I'm going to show you that with a little demonstration at the end of this in simple terms. So we're able to take um, whatever active ingredient that we choose to, to take, whether that's a curcumin, or uh, CoQ10, as it says on here, or any other type of nutrient. And our technology is advancing all of the time. We're now able to take not just one active ingredient, but we can take multiples. And so far, we've been able to encapsulate up to 16 active ingredients within my one micro encapsulations of a micelle in exactly the same way the human body does. Now, why is that important? Well, what's important about it is that we produce them as a liquid form and each um, micro, uh, minute structure, not only has the active ingredient encapsulated within it, but we put like a sat nav on the outside, i.e. we use a polarity electrical structure across the top of each one of those structures as it goes into the body to direct it where we need it to go in the system, which makes it really quite exciting and interesting because we're able to then in liquid form, 
put drops under our tongue, which then permeate through the mucous membrane of the mouth and throat directly into the bloodstream. And the bloodstream then carries them around the system, directly delivering them to the cell structures we want them to get in the body. So we're now talking about targeted nutraceutical delivery directly into the body's system. Now, that is so many miles away from what people have ever been used to. You know, when you put something into your mouth, normally it goes down into the stomach, the acid of the stomach smashes it apart and pulls it all around. And the amount of nutrient that you get becomes very small. Because with the average nutraceutical, your absorption capability is only between 7 and 15%. When we use it in, using this technology, when we take uh, nutraceuticals using this technology that have been encapsulated in a micelle, your body is able to absorb 95 to 100% of it instantly straight into the bloodstream and, in, and into the cells that we need to get to. And that's really exciting because all of a sudden, we begin to see results far faster than ever before. And I guess like many people that have taken supplements over the years, um, many people have said, well, I've, I've taken this and I didn't feel anything from it. You know, it's, uh, and the old adage has been, well, you've got to keep taking it for 30 days, 90 days, et cetera, before you start to get an effect. But the, there's multiple problems. One is the absorption capability. And the second one is the, al the allowable limits that you're allowed to have by law within a supplement base so of course that is restricting all of the time so when we've taken the raw materials and encapsulated in the micelle the way we have we're delivering them straight into the bloodstream you're getting a hundred percent of it then of course the ramifications are quite dramatic and that's what we need to see because most people in the world you know we're so busy trying to uh, live life to deal with life we need something quick and fast that's going to produce results quickly and that's what my cells actually do so what's really exciting for me in that is that we're able then to take uh, multiple ingredients encapsulate them and deliver them to where the human body needs them and the way my cells work is quite fascinating because the structure itself approaches the cell drapes itself over the cell and punches a hole directly into the mitochondria, delivering the active ingredient from within inside the micelle straight into the uh, uh, mitochondria and at the same time taking toxins out of the cell and, and out through the normal waste disposal system of the body, out through the liver, kidneys, etc. So we're not only then delivering high-value nutrients into the bloodstream, but we're also taking all of the toxins and or many of the toxins out of the system at the same time. And that's why we see such dramatic results with this type of technology. Now, I, I for many years, had, um, you know, believed that liposomal delivery systems were the best. And for many years, they were. And in many ways, they are. Except that liposomes are not naturally occurring in the human body. Your body doesn't make liposomes. And to give you a simple illustration, if you imagine a liposome like a Pantechnican truck, driving through the tiny little streets of a Greek um, island, um, it's pretty difficult to get around the body. That's what's happening with, my, uh, with uh, liposomes in our body. But when we take a micelle, it's like a one-wheeled scooter with a driver on it, whipping through the streets of the little island in Greece. So we're able to get things in and around the body very, very fast. One of the other wonderful things about this technology is not only are we getting it into the bloodstream as we put it into the mouth, but some of it will trickle down the throat, and as it does so, it gets to the top, uh, down through the trachea. It hits the um, the entry of the upper upper digestive tract. It gets to the entry point for our lymphatic system. And of course, many diseases, as we all know, and probably most diseases, are underpinned by inflammation in the body and mineral deficiencies. And so to be able to get nutrients that reduce inflammation in the lymphatic system is really quite hard to do. And yet this technology is able to do it. So it's delivering it in the blood and also into the lymphatic system in its natural course and flow. So that's really exciting. And, you know, many years ago when um, uh, I first started to look at nutrient delivery, it, it's one and one doesn't make two, it makes 11. So if we can combine nutrients together the synergy of nutrients together in one delivery system really becomes uh, quite amazing if i explain it in a simply different way to you um if you imagine yourself as the as the micelle structure or the passenger in a taxi and we call the the cab you know and we put the passenger in and we send the passenger off 
i.e. we take the substance into our body and it goes down into our system, like the, the cab goes down under a bridge. And um, at that point, the doors fly off and the passenger falls out, which is what happens to a lot of the nutrients in normal form. Whereas when it's in a micelle structure, not only is it in the cab being sent, but the cab's got a sat nav and it knows exactly where it's going and the doors are all sealed so it can't get out. So the cab delivers it directly to where it needs to be. The doors fly open and out pops the nutrient to feed that cell. It's a very simplistic way of putting it, but there's a massive, massive difference to the way that our body is able to then uh, uh, to, to get nutrients, absorb those nutrients and retain those nutrients within the cell uh, far faster and far more effectively. That's why over these years, we one of the things that we're very excited about is that um, it's really important in our point of view to produce clinical evidence and clinical studies to support what it is that we do. Because everybody out there is saying, yes, well, I've got this and I've got that and mine's better than yours. And uh, for me, it's always about proof. And I like to see clinical evidence. So over the years, we have been producing um, clinical studies, randomized trials uh, in, a, in a, a proper formatted um, way to be able to produce clinical evidence so that your clinicians can look at that and go, yes, okay, that makes total sense and it's clear and the evidence now speaks for itself. I've always said that the future of medicine is in bioelectric medicine and putting the best organic materials we can in our body because this is a physical machine that needs physical nutrients to be able to feed it and keep it running. Um, but the way food is and the way the supplements are, the body's just not getting sufficient. So this micelle technology resolves that problem. It gets the nutrients into the bloodstream, delivers them, and the magic begins. So it's quite fascinating. If, if you wouldn't mind, um, Theo, if you, if you drop the slides for a minute, I just want to show people a very simplistic um, demonstration. If we think that our bodies are mostly water, of course, and, um, and imagine your body as this glass of water. Can you see it there? Yes. Yep. Okay, good. So imagine this is your body and it's 85% water. And it, all of the nutrients that we take, all the food that we take in most forms are lipid based, of course. So they're oil based. And we all know that if we mix oil with water, essentially what happens? Well, it just doesn't mix, does it? It's just globules together. And if you can see it, they're sitting on top of the water. To absorb that, your body has to work really, really hard. And, and in most cases, struggles to get the nutrients from it. So if we take a, 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 um, one of our substances uh, called curcumin, for instance. Now, curcumin is a really interesting substance. Curcumin is an alkaloid from uh, the turmeric plants. And uh, turmeric has over 300 different alkaloids in it. But one of the most studied substances on the planet with regards to the reduction of inflammation naturally comes from curcumin. But it's a lipid base. And the most pro problematic area with that is, of course, is that your body can't absorb it. So what we've done is we've taken that plant and uh, we're very careful about how we take plants from nature. Because what we believe is very important is that it's not about just growing them organically. It's how you extract that nutrient from the plant. And many, you know, will produce uh, that extraction process using alcohol or heat. And what it does is it destroys the actual active ingredients itself. Well, we use a subpolar CO2 extraction uh, on site where we extract the live ingredients uh, directly from the plants in a cold process. And they don't do that because they're, it's an expensive way of doing things, but it's the best way of doing things. Once we've got that active ingredient, remember it's a lipid base, we've now turned it into, we've encapsulated it within our micelle structure. And this, I have some right here. And if I take this then, this is, so remember, this is an oil-based substance. It's now encapsulated within um, a micelle structure. And we drop it into water and look what, what happens. So immediately it dissipates in the water, i.e. it's dissipating in your body. Your body's getting all of those nutrients very, very rapidly because it's able to absorb it. And hopefully that makes a, you know, the difference. That oil still sits on the top, whereas that curcumin is now in your bloodstream and, and working its magic. So when you consider that we can do that with multiple nutrients um, and those nutrients working syn synergistically together, for instance, if we mix it with, uh, with vitamin C and with ol olibanum, so it then becomes anti-inflammatory, antifungal, um, 
uh, or in this instance, CoQ10, with regards to being able to reabsorb calcium from the arterial walls in, uh, in the body and, and get the body to function properly so it's getting good blood, up to, uh, good oxygen, oxygenated blood through the body because we're able to deliver these nutrients where they need to be. So it, it can get far more uh, in-depth than that, but it, in simplicity terms, it's about just being able to get the nutrients we need in our body and get any effects from them. As the slide says here, you know, these nutrients then become, in actual fact, when we did a study with vitamin C, as it's on here, um, we, we got to a point where we were using a standardized vitamin C and our mycelated vitamin C. And we had to give up because we couldn't find scales big enough in, in essence, if you think of it this way, to get enough vitamin C on the scales in a standard form to compare with a mycelated form of vitamin C. What we produce is actually way over 75 times stronger in terms of the abilities uh, to, to get into the body and be absorbed. And most people don't realize it, you know, but vitamin C is one of those really, really important things. And Every amount of vitamin C that our body gets, 50% of it, the brain's going to suck up instantly. The brain takes that right out of the equation. So we need lots and lots of vitamin C in our body, and it needs to be retained in our body. So using this technology, we're not only able to get high levels in and not going through the digestive system so that we're then, you know, high amounts of vitamin C in, in your stomach can, can make you feel quite, uh, quite queasy and upset. This way, we can get lots of vitamin C into the body through the mucous membranes without having to go and have it intravenously pumped into our system and, and still have it in our, our body. So at home, you can do it every day, have that high vitamin C levels to protect your system all of the time. And the studies on vitamin C are countless out there. I think one of my favorites is curcumin because it has so many properties in terms of anti-inflammatory and antioxidants. You know, it's, there are 5,000 independent clinical studies on the value of, of curcumin. Now, because of what we're able to do with it, it becomes a, seriously magic. So I hope I haven't bored you there. And I, I tried to sort of um, keep up with uh, Theo's slides here, but they're not... Uh, um, You're talking ahead of the slides, which is great, Raven. <laughs> I... I, I'm normally just free flowing, really, but there you go. So it's it's it there it is, um, and our focus now is that we are we are constantly uh, we we have been creating mycelated um, versions of many ingredients, as you can see here, propolis, uh, propolis and frankincense, uh, and and these are real powerhouses because your body's getting it and the effects again speak for themselves I, I one of the things that i love is that people are able to say to me you know i took that and i felt it immediately i had this effect immediately so for for your doctors to be able to give you something that's not um cytotoxic and has proven evidential results and you get that result then psychologically, it's like, wow, that's that's quite something. Now I really know I've got something that's really feeding me, not causing me any harm. One of the things that we're doing, though, now is that we, we've been ongoing developing uh, our, our technology. And I talked about liposomes just a little earlier about not being natural in the human body. Liposomes are very valuable in, in many other senses. For instance, vitamin C can be good in a liposomal form. But we have been able to perfect the technology of being able to create um, plant-based liposomes, i.e. there are no um, uh, structures that are, are synthetic within our liposomal delivery system. And what's even more exciting is that we can take our micelle structures and our liposomal structures, both plant-based, and we can combine them within one nutraceutical so that we get an instant delivery through the micelle structure, through the mucous membranes of the mouth and throat into the bloodstream, and we get a delayed result through the liposomes that go down through the um, digestive system. So we've got that elongated ability to deliver substance uh, nutrients into the bloodstream through time, which is really what's important because we don't want this seesawing effect all the time. We want delivery and constant delivery. So these technologies allow us to be able to do that. And, I, you know, I think that technology is a wonderful thing, but the magic is the plant. The technology only assists the plant to do its magic. And that's what our micelle technology does. Um, we are constantly evolving all of the time. And to be able to work with uh, Dr. Keneally and 
and the hospital and, uh, and many other doctors out there is a really exciting time for us. Um, in Europe now, this technology is starting to take hold. And when science breaks through with, with technologies, oftentimes it takes years um, to deliver those technologies for people to, to get to that point. But um, I'm very pleased that we're able to deliver this technology to the United States now, to a, a great hospital that's doing great things for, for many people. So at that point, um, if anybody wants to then access the studies that we produce, um, we're more than happy to produce those for people. When COVID happened, um, I, don't, I don't know how political or safe this is to talk about, but I'll say it anyway. Um, our focus was to, uh, do, to produce something that resolved the issues uh, that were being created by this uh, infection virus, whatever one wants to call it. And so we very rapidly put together four ingredients, including curcumin, uh, vitamin C, uh, olibanum, which is frankincense, um, and uh, wormwood, uh, Artemisia annua. And we put it together and we run a study in three independent hospitals and the results were really, really astounding. Um, and we were able to create positive results in 100% of the patients virtually instantly. And so for us, producing study like that is really important behind the different things that we're able to do so that it stands up. It's not just someone else saying, oh, I've got something better than you. Well, here's the evidence of it. More importantly is that, um, I don't know if Theo's got it on here, is that for us it was important to produce a study showing this bioavailability um, science at work. And so uh, that's available to anyone that, can, that wishes to see it, where you can have access to see that there is a study showing that the truth of this bioavailability. And, and many people will say, oh, I've seen something like this before where they've just put things and it's dissipated. But well, they're using emulsions. That's not a technology. It's not the same thing. It just, it, it looks good on film, but it's not delivering. What we do is we deliver what it says on the tin and we back it up with this uh, science to support that. Um, we are creating more and more formulas all of the time and creating studies to support those formulas where we're seeing the uh, positive effects on disease. We've just produced one on CoQ10 right now. A lot of people underestimate the value of CoQ10 with vitamin E, but uh, really exciting times because all of a sudden we can narrow down the amount of things we need on our shelf to give ourselves the right nutrients uh, every day in support of uh, what we're getting from our medical practitioners. It's For me, it's always been about, you know, we have to be responsible for our own health. Um, but when we're fighting uphill with the mountains of not knowing what to use and when to use it and how to use it and the myriad of different choices, people get very, very confused with it. This technology narrows that all down because what we're able to do is to guarantee that what we're putting in our bodies is getting where it needs to go and doing what it needs to do. So I, I'm really looking forward to hopefully working with Dr. Kalindi and the rest of the clinic out there and producing spectacular formulations uh, and that we have so many in, in mind now to do, to bring to bear, to really improve the health of, of all people because we all deserve to live life happily and free of disease, but it's knowing how to get to, to that place, knowing how to do that. So food, air, water, exercise and mental attitude uh, and the water is one thing, but the food we can now deliver with the water and make radical change. So I think that's all I have to say at this juncture, Theo, if yourself and Dr. Cornelia have anything you want to ask me, then uh, please do. Amazing. I learn every time you talk, Raven. Incredible. Well, I, 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 unfortunately, I'm not used to doing things with slides, Theo, so please forgive <laughs> me for that. I'm much more used to talking to people with face-to-face -face or in public so obviously you've covered everything that we're on the slide um, <laughs> so yeah, we've 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 gone through them dr keneally would you like to ask raven any any particular questions right so i think um i think you made a very important point that people don't realize that the physician's desk reference which is the the doctor's guide for pharmaceuticals and not only the pharmaceuticals but how it's absorbed in the body and you said something very important that when you ingest a vitamin nutrient in a in a liquid or in a capsule you're only absorbing 7 to 
And that's correct. And that's what people don't understand is that is that it's so little. And when you can get 95 to 100 percent absorption, you know, you have to you only have to use minute amounts. And, you know, you showed the drops and Thea and I were talking over the weekend about, you know, you only need drops, like literally drops of this substance. And it's um, it's staggering that you can use such a tiny amount to get, you know, 95 to 100 percent absorption, because the only way that you can do that is with an IV. And intravenous is not always convenient for everyone. Um, yeah, it's helpful, yeah. but it's not always easy, convenient, affordable, et cetera. So um, I think that's what people really need to understand is the, like you said, the magic of the absorption and introduction directly into the cell. And you mentioned the mitochondria because the mitochondria is where disease, you know, really begins because that's your powerhouse engines of the cell that make the currency of life ATP. And every day all over the world, our cells are assaulted on a 24 seven basis and vitamin C it, I tell everyone is the antidote to everything. We're the only mammals that don't make our vitamin C under stress. Whereas all other mammals make our vitamin C but vitamin C is the antidote for heavy metals. It's the antidote for toxins. It's the phenomenal thing for the immune system. I mean, the studies are endless, like you mentioned earlier. It just, it's it's phenomenal. And it's something that I tell everyone that at every age, you need to be on daily supplementation of vitamin C in this world. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now we have a solution for that, Dr. C, which yes, is great, isn't exactly. it? <clears throat> so, I, I, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So why don't you talk about um what if why don't you talk about the what you have seen in the clinics in Europe? Um, okay, so especially what we've seen, you know, with our COVID C formula. Um, you don't have that as yet, Dr. C, but it's uh it's a combination product of curcumin, olibanum, and vitamin C together. Right. We, we're in uh, phenomenal results with that with post-viral syndrome, um, inflammatory issues, uh, especially sort of uh, active and acute virus viruses. So also where Raven said about the, um, the rescue, the Artemic C rescue, that was designed specifically for a, a, a specific virus. Um, but we've also been using that with things like, um, you know, any type of viral condition. So that's what we're seeing in them type of products. But even with the curcumin, we're seeing, you know, a lot of clients where they'll go and have their, their bloods done and, you know, CRP levels will, will drop, you know, and again, their doctors are saying, you know, have you, have you changed anything, what you've been taking? And they'll, they'll say, look, this is the supplements we've been taking. Um, Propolis. I mean, yesterday I had a bit of a sore throat. I pulled over, I was driving, it, you know, got quite restricted and I put the propolis five drops. Honestly, I felt it go within a couple of hours. So that that's the effect of these supplements. And like I said, in, in especially our clinical surroundings and what we're seeing um, are, are phenomenal results with our set protocols. I mean, Raven's seen it as well with a few of our clients that have come into, you know, the clinics and into the the office, um, yeah. What what don't we see? That that's that's what I'm going to say. It, is we haven't seen results like this by selling and supplying normal supplementation, and that's why right. for the past 17 years we've been selling supplements that are bioavailable up to seven to 15 percent. So when we introduced the micellulated supplements, honestly, our testimonies and our results had just drastically improved yes we were mixing it with other protocol methods of using molecular hydrogen rich water you know um, and a few other supplements like the ganoderma lucidum spore powders and stuff but ultimately we saw the main change happen when we're using the stabilized mycelated supplement um, and i thank you raven for that because you've helped thousands of our clients as well by introducing these products 
Right. And I've been using uh, multiple ones myself. Uh, and my husband got sick and with a little upper respiratory. And he usually in 24 hours needs to, you know, take an antibiotic because he just goes straight to his chest. And this was the first time I used the drops of vitamin C and he was better within 24 hours and didn't need antibiotics. So it was, it's, it's very, very noticeable. And the vitamin C, when I notice when I put it in your water, like Raven did, you can see how beautifully it disperses immediately in the water, which we are water. And so um, it's, and a lot of, let's face it, a lot of people don't like taking lots of tablets. <laughs> so, so the yeah, liquid I, delivery is, is beautiful. And, and I think, with, with, yeah, with that, where you've just said that, Dr. C, a lot of people also don't like doing intravenous as well. Right, uh, right. And this is where we spoke with Raven on, you know, I think it was about a year ago on one of our um, podcasts that this is such a great solution to have in conjunction with having intravenous treatment um, it was it just accelerate your results even better and even quicker. Right. Well, I'm looking forward to um, collaborating with Raven and creating some very unique products for all different things, because we need that. The key thing is we need the absorptions yeah. of, the, of the nutrients. That is the key thing. And as we age, well, not, a, not just as we age, I used to do hydrochloric acid studies using a machine called Heidelberg. And Heidelberg is a German device that would measure the production of hydrochloric acid. And interestingly, I noticed that probably over 95% of people, whatever their age, their production of hydrochloric acid was dramatically reduced. And that's how we absorb nutrients. And so if we don't have adequate hydrochloric acid production, we can absorb not only the nutrients, but our food. And so this is going to totally revolutionize and change that because you it, it goes straight to the cell from the mouth to the rest of the gastrointestinal system. Yeah, yeah. So and just I'm going to add one more thing to that as well. Um, and Raven, you'll probably agree to this, that there is some product ranges within our set protocols that you couldn't use intravenous for, right? Especially the combination treatments, you know, like the THRX, the uh, the fulvic mineral complex. Uh, Frank yeah, and yeah, absolutely. That, you know, there, there are certain things that you you you, you wouldn't do in, a, in, a, in an intravenous treatment process. Um, but for me, it's always been about giving giving the body the basic tools that it needs. You know, and when we were when we were in clinic, and we used to have cancer patients all of the time. We'd we'd get them to bring in their prescribed medications with them, and uh, they'd bring in great big bags full of medications. You know, and and I'd line them all up on the desk and say, "Why are you taking this one? Starting with the last one they were prescribed." And um, they said, well, I, I have to take that one because this one that I take causes me um, acid burn in my stomach. Okay, so why are you taking this one? Well, because that one I took before that gives me severe headaches. So what, and you end up with this plethora of medications all counter-affecting each other in terms of trying to deal with side effects. And um, one of the things that uh, we were really keen to do was to, to scale that down as fast as we possibly could. And one of the things we did was to give people a, a um, anti-inflammatory and uh, a mineral supplement. Uh, and when I say an anti-inflammatory, something like this curcumin type of anti-inflammatory. And it was remarkable how many other things receded very quickly once you got the baseline in place, i.e. giving the body the basic nutrients it needs. And we came to understand, you know, and we realized it, that every human being on the planet needs those two things every day in their body to keep the inflammation under control and the mineral, mineral deficiencies uh, out of the way. And then the amount that needs to go in in any other way um, changes dramatically because the body starts to work its, its own magic. So 
some of the things that we would produce, you wouldn't want to put in the intravenous um, uh, system because is there a need to? One of the things that we're very keen on is, you know, the doctor is time limited. The doctor can only see as many patients as a, a doctor can see in a day. And unfortunately, you know, when I started to first get involved in looking at cancer uh, some years back now, it was about one in 11, one in 15 people got cancer. We're fast approaching a one in one with cancer. Doctors don't have the time to see them. And so what a doctor needs to be able to do, apart from use their brilliant expertise uh, expertise in the diagnosis and, pro and designing the right protocol for them, is to be able to send them home with that protocol so they can use that protocol every day without the doctor having to be there all of the time because there isn't time for the doctor, there isn't time for the clinic. So we, we begin to give people um, a much smaller nutrient base uh, that has a much broader effect and they can do it at home and they can come and see the specialist when they need to see the specialist to keep a check on things, keep an eye on things and to adjust things when as they need to. Um, but take care of themselves properly at home. Then the doctor has, has got more time to focus on the real expertise of tweaking things the way they really need fine adjustments, you know, calibrating the radio so it, it runs smoothly and perfectly. And that's what that's why we're able to create massive change with, with this type of technology. But the other thing that I love too is that unfortunately, you know, Many people in the world cannot afford the type of medicine that they need to get, but they can afford these type of supplements that will have ramifications that are quite huge for them. So all of a sudden, the doctor is able to uh, give uh, quality to more people um, than he could through his hours or her hours because he, he at least can get nutrients into their body. And I, I, I'll, I'll go back to it. You know, your body's magic. It's a magic piece of uh, equipment. Give it the right tools and let your body do what it, it does magically. It's incredible. But do it through your doctor because your doctor knows the combination of things that you need to have and needs to know when they need adjusting, when you need a little bit of this or a little bit of that, instead of you just take the basics and stay with those basics. And it's amazing how healthy you'll stay, really, the magic of the human body. And Ray, Ray yes. to add to that, um, there's no contraindications um, at all, he's just drinking. Do you know, I wanted to ask you, I, I've got it on my computer and I don't know how to actually do it. Um, but a lot of people say that to me. And, um, Dr. C, um, Theo's brother has a tiny baby and, um, and he sent me a picture of him bathing his tiny baby in the kitchen sink. And so there's this little baby sitting in the kitchen sink. No, I don't know how old. It wasn't a year. 12 months old, yeah. And, and um, Theo's brother is holding the dropper above the baby's mouth. The baby's got his mouth open to take the drops um, because the baby loved them and the baby knew and the baby felt them. And I, I'll show you that picture because it's fabulous. So, no, there aren't any contraindications for these things. I mean, there are certain things that we always have to be wary of. And so it's always speak to your medical practitioner uh, if you need help uh, with these things. Um, with curcumin, this curcumin is very, very effective. So, you know, it is it can be termed as a blood thinner. So your doctor, your GP, your specialist consultant needs to know that you're taking this if you're taking it so that we don't then get a, you know, a, a problem because you're then starting to take things like warfarin as a prescribed medicine uh, with curcumin because it. You don't want to overdo the blood thinning. But in, uh, other, than, other than that, pretty much, uh, there are no contraindications that we are aware of. And if we, um, if we ever found that, of course, we'd have to publicise that, and we, we haven't. So hopefully that answers it. And I'll add to that as well, because my kids are now to, soon to be six and nine, um, and I've been using our supplements for the past five years with them. Um, when okay. A little virus. Yeah, and uh, we stick to, we just reduce the dosages maybe by 50, 60%, um, but right. the, the response is incredible. I've got the picture here. Can I share screen? Sure. Uh, how do, can you let me share screen? How do I do that? Let's share see. screen. You cannot share screen while the other participant is sharing. Okay, stop sharing. Um, the Send other. it to me, Raven, and I oh, will... Okay. Okay, you have the picture, Theo. It's on your WhatsApp. 
see if you can get that across because it just says everything you know because one of the things that of course we're all wary of and worried about is children and um uh, my, i have a son who's 13 years old he's never been ill in his life and that's that's quite amazing he takes he takes these nutrients every single day he's happy taking them uh, yeah he's he's never been ill ever never had a single thing but um oh. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. Hopefully, Theo is going to work that through. Doctor, add C. it in, but we we will send it to Doctor C after. Um, I'll send it. Over. Yeah, I'll show it. I'll Find show it. Beautiful it. picture. Yeah. Um, thank you. Well, thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate you contributing to the education and empowerment of individuals all over the world and transforming the future of health and humanity. So I appreciate you. Bless you. We all we right. appreciate you, Doctor C, and. Uh, my, my 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 next slide is also to say a special thank you to you um, and everyone at the Cancer Center for Healing and the, the Center for New Medicine as well. Um, I just want to add another special thank you because she might watch this video is to uh, the frequency therapist to Danielle. Danielle Palmer, well, she personally introduced me to you um, and I'm very, very grateful and thankful to Danielle for that. Um, All right. Lastly, That's though is a, a special thank you to all of our viewers that will be watching this video um, and any questions they have, we're happily um, to be there to assist them. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Dr. C. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.